good morning to us all. We begin our church service with hymn number 85. It's a blessed morning and a warm welcome once again and we just want to acknowledge our viewers, the scattered church across the globe. We are happy that you have found time to be part and parcel of today's service. A big Sunday where we are also commemorating or appreciating the gift of our mother's humanity. We believe that the Lord has continued to help them to grow us and nature us the things of love, even to make sure that everything that God desires of us to be, have come to be fulfilled. So a happy mothers to all the mothers out there. May God bless you. We appreciate every service that you've been rendering to our lives. And so we welcome you today to today's service in the name of God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah, Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. Hallelujah. The Lord be with you. Praise the Lord. Blessed be God, the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit.
sin we call it purity. Let us pray. Almighty God, to whom all hearts are open, all desires known, and from whom no secrets are hid, claim the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of the Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthy magnify your holy name. Through Christ our Lord. Say, you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your mind. This is the first and the, and the great commandment, and the second is like it. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. On these two commandments depends the law and the prophets. Friends, let us confess our sins, family will resolve to keep God's commandments and to live in love and peace with our neighbors. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, in penitence we confess that we have sinned against you through our own thought and thought, word and deed, and in what we have left and done. For the sake of your Son, Christ our Lord, forgive us all that is past, and grant that we may save you in newness of life, to the glory of your name. Almighty God, who forgives all who truly repent, have mercy on us, pardon our sin and set us free from them, confirm and strengthen us in all goodness, and keep us in eternal life, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. The calling. Eternal God, your Son Jesus Christ is the way, the truth, and the life for all creation. Grant us grace to walk in His way, rejoice in His truth, and share in His rhythm life, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God now forever. Amen. Please be seated for the Bible lessons. A reading from Acts chapter 7, beginning at verse 55 and ending at 60. Acts chapter 7, beginning at verse 55 and ending at verse 60. But filled with the Holy Spirit, he gazed into heaven and saw the glory of God and Jesus standing at the right hand of God. Look, he said, I see the heavens open and the Son of Man standing at the right hand of God. But they covered their ears and with a loud shout all rushed together against him. Then they dragged him out of the city and began to stone him. And the witnesses laid the courts at the feet of a young man named Saul. While they were stoning Stephen, he prayed, Lord Jesus, receive my spirit. Then he knelt down and cried out in a loud voice, Lord, do not hold this sin against them. When he had said this, he died. Hear the word of the Lord. 
They have been well helpers in chant the song. First Peter chapter two, verse two to ten. First Peter chapter two, verse two to ten. Like new born infants, long for the pure spiritual milk, so that by it you may grow into salvation. If indeed you have tested that the Lord is good, come to him a living stone, though rejected by mortals, yet chosen and precious in God's sight. And like living stones, let yourselves be built into a spiritual house to be a holy priesthood to offer spiritual sacrifices 
acceptable to God through Jesus Christ. For it stands in Scripture. See, I am laying in Zion a stone, a cornerstone chosen and precious, and whoever believes in him will not be put to shame. To you then who believe, he is precious. But for those who do not believe, the stone that the builders rejected has become the, the very head of the corners, the corner, and a stone that makes them stumble, and, and a rock that makes them fall. They stumble because they disobey the word as they were destined to do. But you are a chosen race, royal priesthood, a holy nation, God's own people, in order that you may proclaim the might acts of him who called you out of darkness into his marvelous right. Once you were not a people, but now you are God's people. Once you had not received mercy, but now you have received mercy. Hear the word of the Lord. We stand for the gospel. Gospel hymn number 128. chapter 14, beginning to read from verse 1. Do not let your hearts be troubled. Believe in God. Believe also in me. In my Father's house, there are many dwelling places. If it were not so, would I have taught you that I go to prepare a place for you? 
And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and will take you to myself, so that where I am, there you may be also. And you know the way to the place where I am going. Thomas said to him, Lord, we do not know where you are going. How can we know the way? Jesus said to him, I am the way and the truth. For me, you will know my father also. From now on, you do know him and have seen him. Philip said to him, Lord, show us the father and will be satisfied. Jesus said to him, Have I been with you all this time, Philip, and you still do not know me? Whoever has seen me has seen the Father. How can you say, Show us the Father? Do you not believe that I am in the Father, and the Father is in me? The words that I say to you, I do not speak of my own, but the Father who dwells in me does his works. Believe me that I am in the Father, and the Father is in me. But if you do not, then believe because of the works themselves. Very truly I tell you, the one who believes in me will also do the works that I do, and in fact, will do greater works than these, because I am going to the Father. I will, I will do whatever you ask in my name, so that the Father might be glorified in the Son. If in my name you ask me for anything, I will do it. This is the Gospel of Christ. take our seats. Let us pray. Our dear Heavenly Father, the God who is in heaven, we want to say thank you and we want to honor you this day for your love and the care that indeed you have upon our lives. Even by allowing us to see this day we know that it's not by mistake, nor by an accident, but because of your love and mercy that endures forever. And now, God, may you have your word in our lives, because your word comes but to define our lives and to give us but a new hope. We bless you and we honor you. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Today, it's a bright new day, and it is the day that the Lord God Almighty has made. And in this day, he wants us to rejoice and to be glad. And today, it's also a very significant day. It is the day when we even commemorate the mothers and for the things they have done in our lives. So happy, blessed Mother's Day to the viewers, wherever, where you are watching us from, and those, the mothers who are in our midst today. Indeed, you are our hero. You are special, even in this great nation. And in this moment, I also wish our nation a blessed Mother Zambia, because indeed, Zambia is a land of our dream and is a land and it's not that we are here by mistake. And even those nations, you are not there for a mistake. And today, I'm going to speak to you 
with the theme that I've entitled, We Have Been Through Too Much to Lose Heart Now. We have been through too much to lose heart now. Viewers, wherever you are watching us from, this day it's a day and God Almighty is reminding us through his word that indeed we have been through too much to lose heart now. From the time that we were born, you can bear witness with me there are a lot of battles that we have fought and there are a lot of things that has even fallen upon our lives and yet we are still living and we are still soldiering our head even to continue to glorify God in the land of the living even as the nation of Zambia ever since we got our independence you can bear witness with me that we have been through too much and yet it is not the time for us to lose heart god almighty has been with us even as we are living in a troubled times our god is mighty and his faithfulness surrounds our lives god is in control over our lives even in this midst of the coronavirus we need to know that as christians believers we can look to the return of christ jesus with great expectation and anticipation but a sense of peace is not only a future promise the gospel that we have read today we are told it was a time when Jesus Christ was given more like a farewell to his disciples. We need to note one thing here, that the disciples when they were with Jesus, they had invested all their time. Others even left their careers. The likes of Peter and the brothers, they were fishermen, and when Jesus said, follow me, they followed him. And yet this time, Jesus was saying to them, that let not your heart be troubled. Believe in God and believe in me, because I am going to my Father who sent me to go and prepare a place for you. Beloved in the Lord, those statements, they made the disciples to be troubled and to wonder. I believe that even what came into their mind was, after spending all the time with Jesus, is this what he can say today that I'm going? Oh, what was in their mind, I believe, was that after spending our time, even leaving our career, following you, and today you're telling us that I'm going to my path. Are you serious what you are saying? Oh, what they had and the things they had within themselves was about they were with him. They were with him daily and all their focus was upon him. And now when he said to them, they were troubled in their hearts. They were troubled about what would be of them in the absence of their Jesus who was with them even today beloved as we are faced with the coronavirus we know that some of you church is part of your life even that business is part of your life even that job that you have or maybe some of you you were just employed or just married and then yet the corona has come. I believe and trust that there can be some wondering about that what is it that we're going to eat? Or what is it that we're going to do? I'm here but to encourage you that we have been through too much to lose heart now. Imagine and know where God has took you from. The disciples from the time that Jesus Christ 
say to them that follow me, they were doing something. And indeed the same God who were with them in all their journey and the decision they made in following them. And no wonder I say to them that do not let your hearts be troubled. Believe in God and believe in me because indeed I'm going to be with you even in the midst of the challenges and the tribulation that can come upon your life. Jesus said to his disciples, Peace I live with you, my peace I give to you. Jesus assured his disciples that don't let your hearts be troubled. Trust in God and trust also in me. We have been through too much to lose heart now, even as the nation of Zambia and as the nation Look where God has took you from. The struggle that you struggled, even to be at the level and the position where you are. It is not a time to give up because the same God who helped us to overcome those the struggle that we faced from the time that we were born. It is the same God who is going to help us to, but to give us the peace even in this midst of the coronavirus. Mama or father there, I know that you can ask yourself questions. That man of God, I have gone through issues in my life. Yes, I know, and I may not even know it. But it is not the time to give up. Remember where God has picked you from. Remember where God met you. Even when we made that decision to be coming to church, and now we are no longer coming because churches are closed. But don't forget where God took you from. The same God who were with you, even when we were gathering as the nations, even as the churches, it is the same God who is saying today that don't let your heart to be troubled. He knows the way and his faithfulness indeed endures forever upon our lives. Jesus, in the gospel that we have read today, is reminding us that yes, troubles may be there and we are living in the troubled times, but we need to know that His faithfulness and His love endures forever upon our lives. Jesus did not say, my peace I will give to you. He is promising peace here and now. And that peace that we want even in the midst of the challenges where we are in it is the peace that god is saying that we're going to receive it now because when he speaks our lives can no longer be the same troubles seems to be part of a new norm in the period where we are in we may be troubled by coronavirus and other challenges but jesus tells us not to lose heart, not to be troubled. Worry, we need to know that worrying does not take away the tomorrow's problems. It only takes away the today's peace. When we worry, we cannot solve a problem, but instead we can just take our peace. And when we don't have the peace, meaning we are going to become vulnerable. And no wonder today God is encouraging us that we must not be troubled. We must believe in him because it's him alone who can give us that peace that we want in our lives. Yes, the economy is not well. Things are not moving the way they were. But my encouragement to you today is that we have been through too much to lose heart now. It is not the time to lose heart. Don't let your heart be troubled. Trust in God. Indeed, this coronavirus and every challenge that you're passing through in your life, it shall come to pass. We have gone through many things in our lives. It is not the time to give up now. The same God who fights the battles for us in the past, He is the same God who can still fight the battles for our lives today. Weeping may endure from the night, but joy comes in the morning. Indeed, your joy and my joy 
it shall come in the morning. We have cried so much. We have worried so much, even as the nation. We have worried so much, even as the nation. But my encouragement today with the word from above is that weeping may endure for a night, but joy comes in the morning. The joy is coming in your family. The joy is coming even in our nation, Zambia, because we know who we believe in. And the person we believe in him, he said it, that don't let your heart to be troubled. Believe in God and believe in me. Oh, what we need to do, we need to keep on believing in God. We need to keep on trusting in the Lord. We need to keep looking to God. Don't give up the hope that you have because God Almighty wants to give us the peace even in the midst of the coronavirus where we are in. In this midst of coronavirus, may we rely upon God to give us the peace. He's the only one who can give us the peace because when he gives us the peace, indeed, we are going to glorify him because he's a great God. Finding peace is not our own doing, but through the word of God. It's not about our initiative, because the moment we want to use our initiative, we are going to be disappointed. But the moment we rely upon God, who said it, that don't let your heart be troubled, indeed, we are going to be encouraged. Because the peace which the world wants, and the peace with the families want, it is the peace that comes from above. And that's the peace that today God is saying, that don't let your heart be troubled. God will care for us in this midst of the coronavirus and our daily challenges. God called his people to put his word in their hearts and to write it on their minds. The word of God has power for that power to be active in our lives. We need to have known his word. We have to actually know the word of God for the word of God to be effective in our lives. And that word is that, do not let your heart be troubled. We need to know that Jesus never intended for our hearts to be worried and to be troubled. But it is part of our daily life and it is part of our daily struggle. Yes, we can look to Jesus for a present peace in the midst of our troubles. Beloved in the Lord, once the coronavirus or that challenge is over, you won't remember how you made it through, how you managed to survive. You won't even be sure whether corona is really over or that challenge that you're passing through. But one thing that is certain, when you come out from any storm, you won't be the same person who walked in it. That's what this challenge of coronavirus is all about and the challenges that we are facing in our lives. Once we are out from those challenges, we are going to testify and say indeed, that if it was not for the Lord, I was going to perish. If it was not the Lord, my life was going to be in a miserable state. But because the God Almighty who said it, don't let your heart be troubled is the one who came into my refuge and is the one who saved me and no wonder today i'm going to give him praise and honor because he's a mighty god that even as when we are going to come back even the way we worship we are going to change even the way we do things we're going to do it because we know that we once walked into a storm we once walked into coronavirus and God made us to survive and he made us to be alive and we give him the praise and honor because we never lose heart because we went through a lot and he hold us unto his hands. It is always encouraging to know that there is someone who can turn for our help. Notice in John chapter 4 verse 6, he did not say, I will show you to the way to the Father. He said, I am the way. What is it that you want in your life today? Jesus Christ is the way. He didn't say that I'll show you the way to the Father. 
but he said, I am the way. Hallelujah. He did not say, I will teach you the truth that you need. He said, I am the truth. Is there anyone, even those who are watching me, wherever you are, you are lacking the truth. The truth is in Jesus Christ, who said it, that don't lose heart, or don't let your heart to be troubled, but believe in me, and you have life. And he did not say, I will, I, I will give you life. He said, I am the life. What we need in this moment is Jesus Christ, who is the life. No one can make such awesome statement about himself truthfully except our Lord Jesus Christ. And because he is the way, the truth and the life, he is the only one who can give us the peace even in this midst of the coronavirus. Yes, we have been through too much to lose heart now. God is the best helper that anyone can have in times of need. I know that there are a lot of things that we want in this moment. I know that things have been shaken. Things are no longer the way they are. But the one assurance I have is that when we look to Jesus, is the one who can meet us at the point of our need. May God empower us to face our daily challenges with hope and faith in Him. May God give us the grace to put our trust in Him even in this time of the coronavirus and any other challenges that we may be facing in our lives. Yes, even as we celebrate the Mother's Day today, a mother is a hero, and mothers maybe are there watching and you have gone through a lot. My encouragement to you is that you have been through too much to lose heart now. Shiron, trust God, is going to make a way in your life because it's the only one who can make a way in our lives. Amen. May God bless you, even as we are going to continue, but to focus about what God has done in our lives. Yes, in the past, He has healed us. He has provided for us. And it's the same God who can still provide, even in this midst of the coronavirus. Amen. Let us pray. Our God and our Father, the God who is in heaven, we want to say thank you because we know the heavenly Father. We have been through too much to lose heart now, even as the nation of Zambia and as the nations at large. We know that you're the only one that can give us the peace that we want because indeed you are the only one who is able but to be in upon our side. Receive all the praise, the honor, and the donation because we are great God. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. May God bless you.
this law as the dear pants for the wood. So is our souls, long and year after you, Lord, in these difficult times that we are going through. So, Lord, our hearts looks upon you, Lord, the author and finisher of our faith. We shall not be shaken, O Lord, with any challenges that God we are going through. We will not be shaken by any sounds that, Lord, we may hear, but we will stand looking upon you, knowing that indeed you are the sovereign God that holds the entire world. You that knows each one of us. You that numbers every details of our lives. So Lord, we continue looking unto you, trusting and believing in your strength. Even Lord, as you encourage Paul that indeed your grace is sufficient in his weakness. So Lord, ease us even today. Know that despite every challenge that we are going through, the economic crisis, the corona, uh, the corona pandemic, that God is in our midst, we believe and trust that indeed your grace is sufficient to enable us passing through this challenge in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. So we thank you for your word that God, you have ministered through your servant. I need your word will not come to you back void me, but will accomplish every purpose that you have said it for. So may you encourage us in your word that we may continue to look unto you. Continue, Lord, committing all our members here at Cathedral Anglican Church, wherever they are. We pray that God, may you alone continue to guide them, sustain them, and provide unto them in the name of Jesus Christ. We pray that God, even in these times, your grace shall be sufficient, meeting them at their point of need. In Jesus' mighty name, we commit all the groups wherever they are, that God, you continue but indeed touching them, reminding them, oh God, of that call that you have placed within their hearts. Lord, even in these difficult times, you alone shall be our God and enable us to pass through and move according to your ways. So Lord, we commit even the entire church, the Anglicans and other churches unto your hands, oh Lord. We pray for our Archbishop Abba Chama. We pray for our Bishop David Job. We pray, O oh God, for our dear Father Charlie Thomas. We pray for all the clergy, the deacon. We pray for the lay ministers. We pray for all the church leaders in different positions. Let God may you continue to use them, Lord, as a vessel that will spear ahead your works and accomplish your works in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. May you write in their hearts, O oh Lord, that indeed you are one that have called them will never fail, but indeed you will be with us even in these difficult times. Surrender all the members also Dowsis live everywhere unto your hands that God you continue to meet them at that point of need in Jesus mighty name. We want also to pray oh God for our nation Zambia meeting all the leaders the president, cabinet ministers and everyone God that you are Lord God you may grant them wisdom that they may lead this nation to your words and to the peace of justice and so Lord also continue to commit even our families unto your hands of God that you that have established our family you continue but guide us 
you continue to provide us and meet us at our very point of on our need. Those that are seeking peace, we pray for your peace. Those that are seeking justice, we pray for your justice. Those that are going through hard times, sickness and other challenges, we surrender them unto your hands that you, Lord, that never fails, may come through in their situation. And also, Lord, we surrender even the health workers unto your hands, wherever they are. Lord, even as they provide service to the sick, we pray that God, may your Holy Spirit enable them, O oh God, and continue to guide them in Jesus' mighty name. So omit, O oh God, all the mothers who are celebrating Mothering Day today, we continue to ask for your guidance and your favor upon them, that God, you present them and bless them and meet them at their point of need in Jesus' mighty name. We surrender, O oh God, even those that are celebrating their birthdays today, to meeting Father Peplan in Tonga at your hands, Father Akim Homer, and other members, O oh Lord, here at the Anglican Cathedral of the Holy Cross and others. We pray that God may you continue to keep them, enable them, O oh God, to live a life that will bring glory and honor unto you. You continue, O oh God, strengthening them and encourage them in this midst of challenges in the mighty name of Jesus. Committing in the weeks unto your hands, O oh God, that you alone may guide us and be with us in all our program that we are doing. We ask this through Christ our Lord and Savior, we pray. Amen. Thank you so very much. What a way indeed of us celebrating our mothers across the nations with such a powerful message from our Reverend uh, Axel Kampala. And I also want to wish my mother, Lina, sitting there at home, a happy Mother's Day. Notices. All those who intend to get married, please inform the clergy six months before wedding day and that the applications forms are available at the office. We also like to thank those that are participating in giving time as well as their offering through the FNB dollar account as well as APSA Quacha account and also on the Airtel and the MTN numbers. At this moment in time, before I invite the dean for the rest of the notices, we'd also like to appreciate the, the life of Father the Tonga here at the Cathedral of the Holy Cross, as well as uh, Father Akim Koma of uh, Matero Parish, all that are celebrating their birthdays today. And also all those out there who are celebrating your birthdays, we want to acknowledge your giftings here on earth, even as you continue to touch nations, we pray that the Lord will continue to use you as his own vessels in Jesus' mighty name. We'll invite Father Peplani for the marriage advice. Thank you, Reverend. Um, good morning, everyone. Um, my birthday has been challenged, attacked by women, mothers in particular. But all in all, I'm still receiving the gifts. Those that wish to send their gift, you can use the Dean's mobile money. I'm here to announce the bands of marriage. I published the bands of marriage between Mr. Emmanuel Limwanya Bidi, a member of the Cathedral of the Holy Cross, and Miss Chanda Kaoma, a member of All Saints Parish Catholic. If any of you know cause or just impediment why these two persons should not be joined together in holy matrimony, you are to declare it. This is the second time of asking. The wedding ceremony, God's willing, will be held 
on Saturday, 6th June 2020. Thank you. And now we invite the dude for the rest of the next season to wash us to peace. gathered and the church scattered across the city of Lusaka and beyond. We welcome you once again to this Cathedral of the Holy Cross online service. The conditions for us even coming into the cathedral is that we wear a mask all the time. We keep our distances within the cathedral and at the entrance we will have a record. We will record your name, your address, and your telephone number. And these are conditions that will continue because it doesn't look like we are easing up and we need to be more vigilant and more careful. But I'm looking forward to that day, the great comeback, when this cathedral will be filled once again with the sound of praise and worship, prayers and tributes uttered to our Lord and Savior. That day will come. In the meantime, let us maintain ourselves and where we can support and help one another in these difficult times, let us do so. Blessed Mother's Day, as we you continue mothering uh, us in this COVID season. Uh, you thought you got rid of us, we are back. We are back in the house, we are all there. And the other day when uh, wife was telling me, Father, this is difficult, four children. I said, I only know three. And she said, oh yeah, that one sitting in the couch, the husband, he's number one. Then you have number two, three, and four. And the mothering task that God has given you is sometimes beyond the title mother. It is the task that God has given you and we thank you for your mothering spirit and your caring and loving heart that continues to minister to us. Our COVID love fund we made a special appeal a few weeks ago and asked those who can in these difficult times make contributions. Uh, the, the church is going to do it and you are welcome to participate. And as at uh, yesterday or today morning, uh, we have reached a, a collection of about 15,000 in cash and kind that we have collected uh, to distribute in hampers. We will be distributing 185 hampers to Luangwa, Sinjela and Chongwe congregations. We have already been working with them to get those uh, numbers and the, uh, this time it is specifically not members but the vulnerable, the challenged in our uh, congregations. And we will be distributing 35 to the Osaka-based cathedral members. The rural hampers is at about 143 kocha, and the Lusaka one at 178. And all together, including our contribution as a church, will come to about 32,685. This is the first phase. There will be phase two intervention in two months when several members of the congregation and others are saying there would be a more concerted effort as people begin to lose their jobs, as people begin to have their salaries, as I heard yesterday, cut down to 20%, others 40%, others have been sent on leave without pay. And so there are challenges, and so we will see how pastorally we can't come there, we can't visit each other, 
but there are ways we can carry each other's burdens and we will see how best we can uh, participate uh, in alleviating your challenges. Our offerings and tithes for last week, which was the first Sunday in April, was 120,614 and uh, our 2020 harvest now stands at 132,000. We thank God for your continued commitment uh, in spite of all the challenges. The Church of God will continue to minister to in its mission no matter what our challenges are. Where you can, you participate, contribute. If you are challenged, don't be compelled. Wait until the time is right for you. For your love and kindness to show to us the clergy during this time when we were under lockdown. Sometimes you are under lockdown by by law. Sometimes you are locked down by your wife. Whichever one that is happening, uh, you, you are in isolation, but we thank you that in spite of our situation, you continue to send words of comfort, strength, and also, uh, some of you said you really miss uh, us, and I found out later that it's not me, you miss the building, but that's fine, you're welcome to, uh, to miss the building, miss the church, and we will come together one day, all together. We thank you for your love and for your support during this time. May God bless you. As we prepare our hearts and minds for the peace, peace is not the absence of challenges, it never was, but the grace to go through the challenges of the season, putting in our trust in God and knowing that He is still on the throne. May God grant you that inner peace, wisdom and guidance to make right and wise decisions in this season, to spend less, to know that times are going to be difficult, and to manage what God has entrusted you wisely, to be able to manage your home, and as everybody is in the home, to be at peace with one another. This is the peace and the grace that God will give you at this time. May God cover us in his grace, in his wisdom, in his guidance, and in his hope. The peace of the Lord be always with you. Let us all for one another a non-contactable sign of peace.
so too have the supper. He took the cup, and when they had given you thanks, he gave it to them, saying, Drink of this, all of you, for this is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Whenever you drink it, do this in remembrance.
of his blood, which is shed for you. Feed on him in your heart by faith. Give thanks to the Lord for he is gracious. Almighty and eternal Lord, we thank you for filling us with your holy word and for keeping us by your grace in the body of your Son, the company of all faithful people. Help us to persevere through the pandemic as living members of that holy fellowship. Be our brother's keeper through social distancing and to grow in love and obedience according to your will. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Father Almighty, we offer ourselves to you as living sacrifice. In Jesus Christ our Lord, send us out into the world as we make social economic sacrifices during this difficult time and the power.
power of the Holy Spirit and to live and work to your praise and glory. Amen. May the peace of God be us all understanding. Keep our hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of His Son Jesus Christ our Lord and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be among us I remain with us always. Go in peace, love, and serve